So I see you have a scar on the left side of your face. How'd you get that? Uh, it was a, uh, you know, really uh, traumatic experience. I almost lost my life. I was knifed um, coming out of a club. Um, I had, uh, I, it was, it was six, it was six men, and basically there was some confrontation. Um, they surrounded me. There was no punches thrown or anything like that. Um, we were all under the influence, but um, well, actually I couldn't say they were. I know I was. <laughs> um, you know, I, I really didn't know what was going on. I just saw someone come out from the side. And I saw, you know, from the from the neon light from the outside, I saw a, a shiny object, which turned out to be a knife. And it was too late. He already, you know, stabbed me in, in my jaw, and then went to like get my throat and missed my throat. I, I turned up and I went like this, and he, my face just completely, oh my god, just fell off. And I saw, I looked down, and when I looked down, all my blood started spilling out, and I just immediately started getting tired and like losing consciousness. A friend of mine came running up, and from what I remember, he, he runs up and grabs me. And when he grabbed me, they went to, st I think they were coming to stab me again. And they stabbed him in the arm and in the shoulder, and he deflected it. So basically, we were both sitting there in tons of blood, but we were both bleeding. I was the worst, you know, obviously, because he had a puncture room, I had a slice. Like, all, I mean, you could, it's on me. I right, mean, right, right. 360 something stitches. So luckily, I had a, a, a Reconstruct a, a, a plastic surgeon on call. Not not that I had one, but the hospital did. So I was able to get into the hospital. And by that time, I was I, I just remember flashes. And I just remember getting into the ambulance, being pushed into the ambulance. And basically, at that point, I was in and out of consciousness. I didn't know where I was at. I just saw the panic on all the paramedics' faces and the blood that was all over them. So I knew how bad it was. And I just at that point said started. I knew I messed up, and I knew it was over. I thought it was game over. And I kept thinking to myself like, what a what a way to end this, you know, and, and you know, I, I go through my whole life and this is how it ends, you know, and I just said some prayers and I just thought to myself, I, I got a comfortable feeling. I, I, in a weird way, you kind of, at that moment, I had to accept it. There's nothing else I could do and I accepted, never in my life thought I would say this, but I accepted death. I really did. And I got quiet and I blacked out again and that was the last time I blacked out and I woke up the next day and I couldn't believe I was alive. So, you know, I'm very gracious that I'm here and it was a very rough time for me it still is still pretty traumatic but um, like I said I got through it and and I'm still getting through it and, and that's why I know I'm here to do something you know so it was uh, how long very, did it take you for you to recover I'm still recover. I mean emotionally I'm still recovering but to recover physically it took about six months you know I mean I still you know I'm still having to put the vitamin E on the face but I'm very lucky I didn't get disfigured or I didn't he hit a nerve, um, and I didn't die. You know, he didn't. He missed the jugular, so that was the big thing, man. I never would have thought in my life something like this would happen to where, you know, I would almost lose my life and see my own blood pour out of me in a violent attack, um, you know, attempted murder, and I almost died. So that really um, gave me a different look on life. Period. Like I see things completely different now. I'm very gracious. I'm not scared of death at all because I know when you're facing it and you're almost there you get to a point where I'm not kidding you you at least I came to a point that I got comfortable in accepting it and and I gave it to God and then man the next day I woke up so yeah it was, it was a very trying experience for me I'm just glad I made it through